Word includes a powerful find and replace tool. Sometimes it can be hard to visualize how to put some of that power to work. In this quick tip, I highlight a handy way to replace short pieces of text with much longer pieces of text. You'll note that I have a document on the screen. It's a rather long series of contracts that have been put together for an event. So you already have a contract? Like all good contracts, there are multiple places in the document where the parties to the contract need to sign. However, these locations are simply noted with the text signature within brackets. Now I just happen to have another document open, which I'll switch to here so that uh, you can see it. This is the signature block that I want to use in the other document. What I want to do is replace every instance in the other document of the text signature in, in brackets with this signature block. To do that, I'm going to start by selecting all of this text in the signature block and then I'm going to go ahead and press Control C. That copies it into the clipboard. Now I'm going to go and switch back over to the actual contracts here. And what I'm going to do is display the find and replace dialog box. An easy way to do that is to just press Control H and then you can see the find and replace dialog box on the screen. In the find what box, I'm going to go ahead and uh, type what I want to replace within these contracts. That's the word signature within the brackets. In the replace with box, I'm going to put a very simple code down here. And that's a caret, which is basically a shift six character, followed by a lowercase c. This indicates to Word that I want to replace using the contents of the clipboard. Now this code needs to be lowercase, so make sure that you don't use an uppercase C. Now, all I need to do is go ahead and click on Replace All. And it tells me that it's made all of the changes within the document, and I can dismiss these dialog boxes. And you'll notice that I now have the signature blocks within all of these contracts that are on the screen. This was done all with a single find and replace operation. So we're all going to sign a little contract. Remember that the caret C code used in the replace with box indicates that you want to use the contents of the clipboard in the replacement. In this example, we had text in the clipboard, but I could just as easily have copied a graphic or some other object to the clipboard. Word would have then dutifully replaced all instances of signature with the graphic or object in the clipboard. This approach to replacing information is especially helpful if the contents of the clipboard are very long. Why? Because if you type something in the replace with box, you are limited to just 255 characters. However, the clipboard can contain much more than that, so you can replace with a very long block of text if you desire. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at some of the power inherent in Word's Find and Replace tool. If you did, click the subscribe button and make sure that you click the bell so that you can be informed when new videos are added to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few moments with me today.